Hi, we're the James family. Are you sick of your day-to-day life? Ever thought about doing something different? Well, we did just that. We bought an unfinished aluminium catamaran and we're fixing her up as we sail around the world. Come along for the journey and click subscribe. Daddy? This week, we're at the Percy's, a remote island off the east coast of Australia. We're trying our hand at crabby, but end up having a massive setback. And we're getting rid of more stuff and making the boat lighter. We are en route to the anchorage of Western Bay at Middle Percy Island, but we are currently taking a little bit of a detour to get there because there is a military exclusion zone for training with live firing activities happening. So we're staying well outside the no-go zones. So right now we're getting pretty close to the military exclusion zone. So we're gonna put the main sail and the head sail out on opposite sides and go wing on wing to get a bit deeper. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna keep well outside of it just to do the right thing for them. And yeah. And also, it's a no fishing zone here, and we want to put the lures out. And if we bear away, we'll cross the line where we can put the lures out a little bit earlier, and then we can uh, hopefully catch a fish this afternoon. Because once we cross this line, we're good all the way to the Percy's. Yeah. That's the plan. We walked the head sail through and sailed beautifully wing on wing. We put the lines out once we were out of the green zone, but unfortunately, no fish jumped on the lures. We arrived at the Percy's in great time and found an awesome spot to drop the anchor right in front of the beach. So we arrived at the Percy's yesterday afternoon and uh, we zoomed straight up into this uh, lagoon area here in uh, Middle Percy in Western Bay. And uh, yeah. There's a fish in there. We put our crab pots in and uh, we're about to collect them and hopefully collect our bounty so we'll see how we go it is absolutely beautiful up the back in this lagoon i hope there's crabs in here i'm not sure the water is crystal clear and normally i don't know if you can see it but normally mud crabs like slightly dirty water but it is a uh, very very cool we'll see how we go hopefully there's some big ones <laughs> No, that's just the fish head. What? Oh, and he's still stinky. Oh, yeah. There's nothing in there. Mm. Okay. We, we might not be the best crabbers either. Yeah. He does this one's been. I'm done. So something. Here's the second second line for the second crab pot. And this one's been broken as well. Alright, so both the pots are broken. Uh, stuff has gone into them and stuff has broken out of them. So we just put the crab pots back in the water because the fish heads are still in them. Um, we're going to go back to the boat, get twine, and then come back instead of hauling both crab pots up with stinking fish heads and then go back to the boat and then back out here. It's just easier. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Fingers crossed, eh? Yeah. Tough crabs, dude. They really tore out of those pots, so I don't know whether we're leaving them in there too long then, whether they're having too much time to think about it. I think maybe what had happened is the pot had dried out. So when we reset them this time, we're going to set them down here closer to the entrance where hopefully they're still in the water. So while there's food in there, the crab isn't so keen to get out, you know? So I think that's what happened. We'll give that a crack anyway and see how we go. So right now we're tied up to the boat. Sam's gone inside to get some twine and a cloth to wipe off the sponsons because there's a bit of like fish head, fish juice everywhere. <laughs> what are we going to catch? Crabbies. Yeah. Here comes Sam with all the stuff. Thank you. Even closer. Thank you. 
Are you ready, Charlie Gill? You ready? Are you ready? 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 Zoom, zoom! Back to the crab pods. After picking up the supplies from the boat, we are headed back into the lagoon and up the creek, and we start working on repairing the crab nets. Assistant there trying out the pliers. <laughs> Great hag crab hunt. Take two. Hopefully this is the magic spot, this one. Alright, it's time to go find the second crab pot and repair that one and put it back in the water. Yeah. What did you find? What'd you find? The little tea. Hi, hi, little pussy. Pussy, no, pussy. There's a fishy in the crab pot, yeah. Push him for my cash. He's gonna get some crabs. He's so tough. And what does he smell like? Pumping. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spot, I hope. A bit of fish juice. <laughs> Sam's socks need a cleaning. Um, so he grabbed them as the rag to wipe off all the fish juices. <laughs> yeah, oh, and, and, and they're getting older. I've been wearing around the deck, them old Christmas ones. And this is the better one, but they're, 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 they're starting to get very close to the rag bag. So. Yeah. So both crab pots are in and we're heading back to the boat and then we're going to head to the A-frame tonight to meet some other people and have some dinner with everyone. Yeah. Be a bit social. You. That evening we headed ashore to the A-frame to meet some new friends for a dinner cook-up. The A-frame at the Percy's has a wood fire stove for cooking community kitchen with running water and electricity from solar panels on the roof. This is a really well-known anchorage for yachties to come and be social. Today is the second day. We're picking up the crab pots after fixing them. We're just picking up the first one now. It's right here under the water line and it looks like there might be something in it. Hopefully it's not just our... Oh, it's been crashed. <gasps> been completely bent. Yeah. Alright, so the first one is uh yeah. Uh so we're gonna go pick totally up this destroyed. <laughs> the first one's totally destroyed, yeah. See how it's been bent up here and everything like no animals done that. That's all yeah. So we're gonna go pick up the second crab pie. Alright, so the second crab pot, there was a fish inside, so we let it go, but no crabs. We'll get better at crabbing. Okay, now we're gonna head back to the boat. Okay, so he might not be the best fisherman or crabbers yet, but we'll work on it. The crushed crab pot was a major bummer, but on the bright side, we still have one good working one. And on the other bright side, we got rid of the fish heads from the tunas that we caught a little while ago that have been hanging out in our refrigerator. So while we're here at the Percy Islands, uh, what we've done is, if you've been watching us, you'll know that we've got our girl on a bit of a diet. The shining light's a little bit overweight and we, we need to make her a bit lighter to just reduce the strain on the rigging and the engines and all of that kind of stuff. Now, um, a lot of the stuff that we have on board, like these are excess ropes and that, they're all in very good condition, so I just couldn't bring myself to throw them out. So while we're here in the Perseus, which is a really big yachting hub, we figured we'd make a sign up saying free, so hopefully someone else can come along and take them and, and use them so they're not wasted. The yachting community has been amazing to us and we've been given some really great things and a heap of help along the way. So 
this is our way of either paying it back or paying it forward to someone else. So this is a uh, twofold. It'll make us a bit lighter and faster and hopefully someone else will find uh, use of, yeah, of all these good ropes and pitches and lights and power boards and bookshelves and all that kind of stuff. After paying it forward in hopes to help out other cruisers, we head over to the A-frame for some sundowner drinks with new friends on boats that are anchored in the bay. And we find the perfect spot to hang our sign. You can find it just inside the entrance to the left of the map of Middle Percy Island. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying watching our videos and want to help keep us afloat, consider jumping over to our Patreon page. The link is in the description below. And don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons, and we'll see you all next week.